Hey guys, Brett here, and it's a beautiful day out here in northeastern Pennsylvania, and I've been spending the morning enjoying some hiking. Now, as soon as I figure out where the heck I am, I'm going to head back to my home office because I want to show you a new software called AI Wrapper. Now, in my review, I'm going to show you what I like about it, what was kind of disappointing about it, and the one shortcoming that it has. I'm also going to show you the special bonus that I have that overcomes this shortcoming and makes it much, much more powerful. Now, while you're waiting for me to get home, I'm going to ask you for a real quick favor. Go ahead and give this video a like, because when you like my videos, it tells YouTube it should show my videos to more people, which means more people get the help they need. Oh my God, the gnats out here are terrible. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. Okay guys, good news. I survived the gnats and I made it back to my desk. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you AI Wrappers. So at its core, AI Wrappers is a software that allows you to create AI tools. You can then put these AI tools either on their hosting, on your own hosting, or you can even embed these tools on your site. Now these AI tools can do a variety of different things. And you can also charge people to use the AI tools or require them to opt in in order to use these AI tools. What this means is that you can use these tools on your own sites or your own pages and use them to build an email list or make money. Or you can also sell these tools to put on your customers and client sites. For example, you can create a tool that generates a diet plan and then sell it to a customer that has a dieting website. That's just one example. There really is an unlimited number of uses for this software. Now, in this video, as I said, I'm going to show you how this software works. I'm also going to point out the thing that kind of disappointed me about this software, and I'm going to point out the limitation that this software has that really surprised me. Then I'm going to show you the bonus that I created that removes that limitation and makes this a much more powerful system for anybody that picks it up through me. Okay, so when you log in, you're going to see a page that looks similar to this. Now, the very first thing you do is you have to create a workspace. And a workspace is just so that multiple users can log in and have their own space to work in. But it's real simple, you just create a workspace, you just give it a name basically, and that's it. You can see I actually created a workspace called Test One. So all of the apps that I created will be in that workspace. If I wanted to create a different workspace and created new apps, they would be in that workspace. So the easiest way to show you how this software works is gonna be to go ahead and create an app. Now the first and probably easiest way to create an app is going to be to use one of the templates. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Templates, and this is going to show me all the templates that are available to create apps. You can see there's a whole bunch of them. There's AI image editor, TikTok captions creator, social media post creator, YouTube thumbnail creator, which is really cool. There's a whole bunch of them inside of here. And you can just pick the one you want and start using it. Now, you might notice something here. Underneath each app name and description, it says integration needed. For example, this one right here, social media post creator, it says GPT image one integration needed. And I'm going to go ahead and explain that in a second because that's directly related to the thing that I was a bit disappointed when I started using this system. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a YouTube thumbnail generator and I'm going to click on deploy. And it's going to ask me for my app details. So the very first thing it's going to ask me for is the app name. I'm just going to leave it at the default. It's going to ask me for a description. Again, I'm going to leave that at the default as well. It's going to ask me for a logo for the app. Now, if I wanted to brand the app to my business or one of my customer or client's business, I can upload their logo. That's pretty cool. Again, this is just a demo, so I'm going to leave it as the default. I'll click on next. Now here it's going to ask you for the AI model that you want to use for this particular software. I'm not real sure why it asks you for the AI model because different models can do different things and different you know AI models are going to be required for different products. But it does give you the option to change the AI model if you want. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as the default and go down and click on next. Here I can completely customize the app. I can change the buttons, the colors, the layouts, pretty much everything about the app can be customized. Again, I'm lazy, so I'm just going to leave it as the default here and click on the next button. Uh, it's going to ask me if I want to limit the number of the amount of usage that a single user can use. Uh, so if I want to prevent people from spamming my app, I can go ahead and enter in that. Uh, I can enter in access controls, and this is where it gets really interesting. First, I can make my app public, which means free, that anybody on the internet can go to my app and utilize it, whether it's on their hosting, whether it's on my webpage, or whether it's embedded on my domain. If I make it public, anybody can go to it and just use it. 
If I make it password protected, then that means only people that have the password can access that app. They can go to it, but they can't actually use it without entering the password. And the final thing is I can make it paid. So if it's a paid app, then of course people have to pay to use the app. And this does have a payment integration built right into it. So in this way, you have a couple of different options for using the apps to be profitable in your business. You can have just a free service, which would actually be a real cool thing to get traffic. If you've got a free AI service on your site, that's something that can draw people to your site. Uh, you can use it to build an email list if you want to build an email list, or if you want to monetize it, you can use the built-in monetization to get people to pay in order to use your app. You have a lot of different options, and I think that was really cool. I'm going to go ahead and click on Next, and it's going to ask me where I want it hosted uh, on their domain, or I can use a, an integration in one of my own domains. I'm just going to leave it on their domain just because, again, I'm just doing an example here, and I'll click on the Publish button. So it says my app is now live. I got my domain, I got my link, I can go back to apps. I'll go back here so I can see my list of apps. And you can see there is my app right here. Now there is a bit of a problem with it. It does say my app is published and it's live and I can go ahead and click the preview button and preview it, which is really cool, except for you can't actually use this app at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in some information. Let's go ahead. And and include text in the thumbnail, no text in the thumbnail. I'm gonna go ahead and click on generate and let it generate. And it didn't work. Uh, if you actually look on the lower right hand here, it says open AI integration not found. And that is actually the thing that disappointed me about this system. You see, AI wrappers is not usable out of the box. It is not a complete system. You actually have to integrate your own AI keys with AI wrappers. You have to create accounts with the AI platforms, sign up for billing, and integrate your own AI keys. Now, most of the platforms like this that I've seen, they provide you with AI keys, but AI wrappers does not do that. You have to have your own accounts. The good news is that many of these AIs are extremely low cost. Uh, for example, OpenAI might cost pennies. Uh, so it's a very cheap additional investment, but it is something that disappointed me because it's so cheap, I really wish they would have just provided, you know, AI integration themselves and covered those costs. I mean, they could have, you know, thrown a thousand dollars into an open AI account and pretty much covered all their costs for a year for every single customer uh, that they're going to be selling this to. But for some reason, they require you to integrate your own AI keys and cover the AI costs yourself. If you go here, you can actually click on integrations and you can see where you have to enter in your own AI keys in order for this to work. Uh, now, they did tell me that they're going to be very blunt about this and upfront about this on the sales page and in the webinar, so hopefully they will. Uh, again, this is not something that's a complete deal breaker because the cost of the AIs is very low. But again, because the costs of the AIs are very low, I wish they would have just included it and covered it themselves, at least for like a year or so. I don't really see any reason why they didn't have to do that. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the second way to create an app with this, and I'm going to go ahead and click on AI Creator, and I'm going to create a new app, and it's going to give me a chat. So now I can go ahead and just type in what I want. So I can go ahead and type in what I would like this AI to create. Now I can go ahead and tell it to create like a diet planner or, you know, something like I just showed you, a YouTube thumbnail planner or an image creator. But what if you want to create something else? So for example, I'm going to say create a... BMI calculator. So for anybody that doesn't know, BMI is body mass index. So it's something that people use a lot on weight loss sites so people can calculate their body mass index. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and help to create a BMI calculator and I'm gonna click on the button here for it to give me a response. And you can see the response that I got. So it says, whoops, that's outside what AI Wrappers is built for. AI Wrappers is specifically designed to create AI powered single screen tools. Uh, it cannot build calculators. It cannot build dashboards, games, websites, multi-page apps. It can't build a ton of different stuff. Uh, so it is fairly limited. It's actually limited into the fact that it can only create AI tools. It can only create tools that are similar to the ones inside of the templates, such as image editors, social media post creators, YouTube thumbnail generators, uh, web tech analyzers. There's a whole different ton of 
tools that it can create, but there's also an entire class of tools that it can create, such as calculators and different types of scripts that require different kinds of non-AI functionality. Uh, and that's something that really disappointed me about this software. I felt that it was fairly limited. Now, I could have just let that be the end of it and say, okay, well, AI Wrappers is a good tool. It's got a lot of functionality, but it does have its limits. But then I thought to myself, why don't I just create a new AI-powered platform that allows people to create the kind of things that AI wrappers can't, that allows people to create scripts and programs and games and calculators. Why don't I just build a system that completes it? And this way, if people pick AI wrappers up through me, they can get that platform also completely free and have the best of both worlds. In this way, people will have AI-powered systems that can create any type of software that they can possibly think of. So that's what I did. Let me go ahead and show it to you right now. So here we're looking at an unreleased software that I created called CoderBot. And CoderBot is a platform that I created specifically as a bonus for AI wrappers. It is not available anywhere else. You can't buy it. You're not going to be able to buy it. I created it specifically to solve that limitation with AI wrappers. You see, I felt that AI wrappers was a great tool, but it had that one limitation in that it can't create things like calculators and different kinds of scripts with functionality. It can only create AI tools. So I created CoderBot to solve that. So that way people can have both platforms and be able to create any kind of software that they can think of. Now, the great thing about CoderBot is that it does not require any API integration. I cover all of that for people forever. So you don't have to enter in any API keys. There is also no limits on the usage. You can use this as much as you want. You can create as many scripts with this, as many calculators, as many programs with it as you want. I did not put any limitations on it at all. Let me go ahead and show you how it works. So I'm going to click on create new and it's going to show me this pop-up. And the pop-up is going to ask me for two very simple things. One, a project name, and two, a description of the project. So for the project name, I'm going to enter in BMI calculator. We'll do the same thing that we did before. I'm going to ask it to create me a BMI calculator. And again, a BMI calculator is something that people have on weight loss sites that allows people to calculate their body mass index which is a common thing used to determine people's health. Okay, now for the description, I'm going to finish it this sentence. So you can see it starts off, write me a program that, and you simply finish the sentence. So I'm going to say, calculate a person's BMI. That's all I have to do, and I'll click on generate, and it will start doing its thing. Now this takes about 20, 30 seconds, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this, and we'll come back. Okay, so now it's been about 30 seconds, and you can see I have this in my dashboard. You can see BMI calculator, and I'm going to go ahead and view this. So here is the BMI calculator that I created for me. It's going to ask me for my weight and my height, and it's going to calculate my BMI. All right, let's do one more test real quick before I show you the rest of the software. I'll click on Create New, and I'm going to ask it to create another calculator, just because calculators are a kind of program that AI wrappers specifically can't create. I could ask it to create a game or something like that, but I don't want to do that because it'll make the video longer. Let's just do another simple test and ask it to create another kind of calculator. So I've called this project Carlone Calculator and I've entered in, write me a program that calculates the monthly payment on a car loan. And I'll click on generate and it'll go ahead and generate my calculator script for me. And again, it's been about 30 seconds, and you can see car loan calculator. Let's go ahead and view this real quick, and you can see there's my car loan calculator. Now, this script is completely hosted on my servers. You don't have to download it, but you can if you want to. You can simply view the source and download the script if you like. Also, if you want to, you can go ahead and click on this embed button, grab that code, and put it on any website, and embed it in any website that you want. So you can very easily embed this script and your calculators or programs that you create with this inside of your website or your customers and client websites because you can use this for your customers and clients. As I said, this is without limits. There is no API integration required. And the only way you can get this is as a special bonus if you pick up AI wrappers through me. Click the link in the description to learn more. Thank you and enjoy.